Today I have a fall video for you. I want to show you five of my favorite lipsticks for fall and my five favorite nail polishes for fall. And uh, of course I will swatch the lipsticks on my lips so you can see them on my very fair, not very appropriate for fall skin. <laughs> The nail polishes I will just show you because otherwise it will take me forever but I, I really hope you like this video and let's get to it. Alright, let's start with the lipsticks. I have two from the drugstore and three from two kind of uh, in between and one really high end. So let's just get into it and uh, I'll start with taking this off my lips so I can swatch it on my lips. And I'll start with a very nude one and this, this one is by Maybelline and it's called Coco Cream and it's number 715 and it's this very very beautiful nude brownie shade and I'll just swatch it here. As you can see that's a very beautiful creamy uh, nude color. It has some brown undertones but I think there's a little bit of pink in there too and this is very creamy and this Lipstick smells incredible. I've been wearing this a lot and I really really like this lipstick with the smoky eye and the fall It looks really really nice and it's not too nude It's not it washes you out. Maybe if you're a darker skin tone than me It can kind of wash you out, but but I think it could be a, a skin tone or Maybe too dark, darker than me and still rock this lipstick. Then I have a balm stain from Wet n Wild and this is called it, it doesn't have a name it just says E126 here but it's this very beautiful uh, dusty rose mauve color and this is a balm stain so it kind of stains your lips and stays on for a very long time and it's very moisturizing also for my lips I'll just test it here for you so it's a little more vibrant I think on the lips than in the tube but I really really like this lip stain. I just think it's it lasts on my lips for a long time. And there's a little minty freshness in here. Normally I really don't like mints in my lipsticks and anywhere else. But but here it's it's so little that it's it's fine with me. But it's so creamy on the lips and it's just if you just want to go out a day with just a little bit of mascara, BB cream, this lipstick is really really nice for that. And it's super super cheap this balm stain here. Alright, let's dig into the darker tones. I have two here from MAC. I have the first one here is Rebel and it's it is a really really dark plummy purple color. It looks incredibly dark in the tube, but uh, trust me, it's not as powerful on the lips unless you build it up, obviously. And I'll just try to show you here. I'm not using any lip liner or anything, so this might be a little messy. Alright, this is a satin finish and it lasts quite long on the lips. I think I bought this around one month or two ago. And the moment I walked out the store, I applied it to my lips and then I went out to lunch with one of my girlfriends and of course I had to touch up after I ate the lunch, but it was very very little and it didn't look stupid, you know, when, when the lipstick is gone in here and it's just like a stain around here. I really really hate that. It didn't do that at all, it was just a little bit faded and I just applied it once more and then I, I it lasted until evening. It was really really nice. So I think this lipstick would be perfect for Thanksgiving or even Christmas and you girls with fair skin out there, be a little more daring. I'm trying to work my <clears throat> ass off right here to make it a little more uh, natural to go out with a dark lip and you look gorgeous with it. Look, it, it definitely can work out with fair skin. Look at it. Alright, next up is Captive and this is also by MAC and this is also a satin finish. This one is a little more uh, matty, I think. It, it's really, really dark on the lips. It's more, it has a more brown undertone to it than uh, Rebel does. But somehow it's easier to apply. Maybe Rebel, it feels a little more wet. And this one actually feels a little more like a matte formula, but it's not drying at all. 
you can see how beautiful it lays on my lips and this is kind of also out of my comfort zone but I'm really trying to step out of it and trying these more dark shades and I really really like this lipstick actually and with this blue eye again it, it's actually better than I thought maybe I'll rub this tomorrow night when I'm going out yeah the last one is the ultimate high-end lipstick and this is actually a lipstick you can wear all year round but I just wanted to show you it's from the new audacious uh, lipstick line by NARS and first of all look at this cute packaging and these lipsticks are to die for they are extremely creamy and pigmented and they it doesn't smell, but, but they're really, really, really good. I think they're actually the best lipsticks I've ever tried. Um, this color is in Annabella, and this is a beautiful red lipstick. Red lipstick is good all the time, but this one has kind of an orange undertone, and I really, really like that for fall. Um, I know people might say that's more summertime, but I, I like a brighter lipstick also, and I really like that orangey undertone when the leaves turn into yellow and orange and brown. I really think this would look beautiful with just a winged eyeliner and this lipstick. I'll just show it on the lips for you so you can see how beautiful it is. Look how beautiful it is. It's so, so nice and warm on the lips. And not, ev not everything needs to be cool in the winter time. I really, really like a warmer lip sometimes. So I'm just going to be rocking this color all October month long. I, I think this is this, this gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, let's talk about nail polishes. I have two from LPI and, uh, and three other colors here. I'll just start with these. The first one by OVI is the one that got away and it's this beautiful um, purple pink glimmer shimmer color. It's so beautiful. You need only two layers of this and then it's opaque. It looks really really good on the on the nails, maybe for New Year's Eve or something like that or Thanksgiving. It's really really beautiful. Then I have a purple one from the, I think it's from the Scandinavia or Nordic, Nordic collection. And this is, do you have this color in Stockholm, is it called? And I think that's very funny because I'm from Scandinavia and haha, ha, that's funny, yeah. But this is a really, really beautiful purple color. I've been wearing this a ton these this last month and I'm really really digging this color it will be beautiful for a little color in these cooler months it's not a bright color but it's just a little more color than just a browns and very dark color so I'm really digging this color for fall then I have one by Essie and this is called Aruba Blue and this is a very beautiful dark a blue color with some a little bit of a sheen to it you have to be a little careful with this color you definitely need two coats but when you have it on it looks really beautiful and with brown eyes this would really look nice and you know when the snow comes out this blue color will just look beautiful then of course you have to have a matte color in these uh, cooler months I'm never wearing black in the summer times but I have I kind of dig a, a black uh, nail sometimes and this is definitely the time of the year to wear black and I just have a regular black and this is just from Gosh. You can choose any black you like. I just like this black color. It's very cheap and it's just very good black color and, it, and I get it opaque when I use two coats so this is very fun. I actually think I will paint my nails black now. <laughs> The last color I have is a very exciting color. It's actually a gray one. This is just a sample size from Dior. And this color is in Gris Montagne, I think it's called. It's 707 and it's just this very gray color. It's so beautiful for, for fall. I really like this. I have a white winter coat and when I'm wearing this, it lo just looks so, so beautiful. Even with black or something like that, it would be very, very nice. And um, I really dig grey nail polish. I really think this is a beautiful color for fall. And it's just a little different. I, I, I haven't seen a lot of girls wearing this kind of color. So I'm really, really looking forward to pop this baby out. 
Alright, these were my five lipsticks and five nail polishes for fall. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!